Today's video is brought to you by Hidden Valley Ranch. Ranch, the original valley of ranch. A Jungarian wax pepper, good for the soul. What is that? Alright, so we just found our holiday nog. Shout out to the guy in the store. You were the real MVP. I will put you in my graduation speech that I had two and a half years ago. You were the man. We're going onwards and upwards from here. Guys, I'm back. I just graduated a couple years ago, and today we're gonna embark on another cooking adventure. This time it's Christmas pizza with me, if you care. All right, so welcome back to the cooking extravaganza. Today for a Christmas pizza. The first step will be putting the instant placenta into the boiling hot water and making the secret sauce, if you will. So we're going to take a quick break and I'll be right back so I don't cut myself with a pair of scissors on camera. Now we're going to pour the placenta into the boiling hot water. Make sure not to cut yourself on the hot pan. And you add a little salt in there. I'm gonna take a spoon. Oh shit, that's the wrong end. Mix it up. Take it down a little bit. Just keep mixing. We'll be right back with you shortly. Stay classy, folks. The next step, we're gonna add the cranberry sauce. Not one, but two. Really gotta get in there. If you want the best results, have to work hard. If you want to work hard, well, you got to be the best. So please, for this next step, wear a hard hat because this is very dangerous. So you take your um, your peppermint mocha holiday nog, and then you're going to pour it into your uh, cranberry. But before you do that you really should take off the seal because if you don't do that it won't pour so you're going to start with about a quarter see where that gets you and you're going to mix it the goal is really to kind of liquefy the um the placenta the cranberry placenta so i think we could use maybe just a, ta a, a tosh more if you will and then when you're at it, you know, you might as well pour yourself a little bit. Cheers. Me personally, I don't like eggnog. All right, so for the next step, I'm gonna put some poppy seeds in there. I usually like to take a little taste. And then um, I have to take a taste. I usually just really get in there, get it off. <laughs> and just, you know, really, really, down. It's really kind of, you know, sticky, but, you know, that's good enough. And then you're going to take the spoon, mix it about. And yeah.
I'm not a big fan of peppers or poppy seeds. All right, so the next ingredient we have here, it's my good friend, the green giant, Mexicorn. This really adds a uh, true salinity to the mixture, as you can see. It adds that nice yellow, um, yellow color to the mix, because as you can see, it's looking pretty bleak as, at the moment. So that's one thing you really want to focus on when cooking. You want to make sure that you add a lot of color. Because if you sit down to eat a meal and it's just bland colors, like just, you know, just like white and nothing really to it, who's going to eat it? So you really got to spice it up. And that's why we're also going to add just a, um, a, couple, a couple drops of food dye in there. You want to make sure you only add a couple though, because if you add too much food dye to it, it could really oversaturate the mixture and, uh, you know, food dye, you know, there's a lot of um, different ingredients in that. Um, so now you can really mix it up. So now we have that real nice rich red flavor or uh, color to it. Um, don't get it twisted. Food dye does not add taste, it just adds color. So mix that up. There you go. Next ingredient for the secret sauce is a 4% cottage cheese. Now, you don't want the three and a half, you want the four. So now you mix it up. See, that's gonna really tone down the red a little bit. Maybe give it that kind of, um, that watermelon color. So it's not as, um, not as red. It's still pretty red, so yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Didn't want to salile all the little rack root. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the delivery. You're gonna cut off the top part of the salile rack root. And then you're gonna place it right in the center. And after you do that, you're gonna get a big spoon. You're going to start dishing out the sauce in there. You really want to, you really want to layer it on there. All right, that should be about good in there. All right, folks. The moment you've been waiting for the toppings. First, we're going to start off with a little savor. Some turkey pepperonis by Homerol. Or Homerol. So, you don't have to go too crazy. You just want to sprinkle them around a little bit. And then you want to make sure that you really get in the packet and you throw the white the white thing on there. It's good for your health. Next, we got some um, some Junior Mints, the minis. Always a good time. Sometimes in life, you have to realize that if your hat falls off, you just gotta put it back on. I should be good on that. Next, we got some candy corn. And then last but not least, we got some hard candy. And you can leave it in the wrapper, it's fine. Just put it on there. And then we're going to put a little graham cracker on top. All right. We just got one more step. And then she's going in the oven. All right, yo. This last step. We're going to take this pepper, right? And we're going to take some ham and cheese. And we're just going to... We're going to shove them in the pepper. And to do that... We're gonna take some gray Poupon 
Hey, you passed the grape upon for me? We were just gonna get some on there. We're just gonna. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Just gonna really sh shove it in there. There you go. Right on top. There it is, the finished product before it goes in the oven at 375. I don't really know how long we're gonna cook it for, but tune back in for the tasting. All right, folks, here we are. The tasting of the famous Christmas pizza. You really gotta scoop in there. As you can see, the um, the cellular cell root is in there. Um, we got some pepper. As you can see. So yeah, you're just gonna really Gotta just get in there and uh, gotta take a nice, nice bite, if you will. All right, cheers. Get some so, graham crackers, save yourself. So it's not it's not a pizza anymore, Harrison. It's a pie? Oh, it's Christmas pizza. It's a Christmas, Christmas pizza. pizza. Okay, yeah. it's still Christmas a pizza. pizza. Oh, it's right. right. yeah, See if you can find this Christmas pizza. Depends on the oh, fucking <laughs> rice. That is a heaping... I don't know what that smells There's like. There's a hard candy right there. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> There's a piece of real corn right there. There's a piece of candy <laughs> corn right there. Real corn? <laughs> Oh, Jim's going it's double dip. Double dip. Oh, where's the root? Oh. Get the root. <laughs> I wanna fight. What happened? There was a couple times in there where I thought I might be going over the edge. <laughs> Animal. Animal. <laughs> Bathroom all the way down the hall to the right. Oh, <laughs> keep it down. Right the strength, use the strength of inside. If you look over there, I think my work here is done. Pumpkin. Thank you for watching another installment of Cooking with Harrison. Thank <laughs> <Pumpkin. laughs> you. Tune in next time.